My name is uh, Ole Skov. I'm coming from SAND, the Danish homeless organization. And uh, I'm employed and uh, I'm working to organize uh, uh, homeless people and uh, help them with their, their law problems and the, with the social systems. And uh, I expect a lot of this conference. Uh, it's very good to see a lot of people from all over Europe uh, working on the same problems and I hope we can learn a lot about it. Especially from each other. Hi, my name is Cebre Gilaslova. I come from Hungary and I'm so happy to be here in this conference. I heard uh, more information and about the homelessness and uh, I see now on another aspect in this thing and thank you for every for everyone for everything. I'm a homeless and I want to tell you what I think deep inside my mind. It's Hungary and Hungary is a terrible land. This government had been broken down the buildings of human rights. And we need a new new information and new aspects to see or or things. And thinking about we are human, and we are human rights, and we need to go hand in hand, organization and foundation and congregations get to. And I have a dream too, just like in Martin Luther. My dream is uh, so many hungry and homeless people uh, take my hand and we come together and we show we are human and we are human rights thank you uh, and i'm from norway and uh, i'm working in an organization called the eu uh, it's an organization for the representing the drug addicts and when i say the drug addicts i mean all the addicts from well, also the uh, alcoholics and medicine addicted also people still using and the people stop using. We who work in Rio has all, everyone has been uh, addicts in one or the other form. Uh, I would like to say something uh, about uh, Norwegian uh, user influence system. Uh, and if you don't tell the Norwegian, <laughs> if you don't tell Norway, I will tell you that I'm happy to see that Norway has come a long way uh, when it comes to the user influence. Because I think in Norway uh, we, would, uh, we have uh, the users has uh, been working on what is user influence. And I feel a little bit in your conference here, I feel a little bit like it's still on a level where the professionals will talk about how, what is user influence and how would we like to think about it. And so the users will tell, uh, I have a story and, I am, and, and they are starting to, to get along. Uh, but uh, I think to, the user influence should be more political also. And I think that uh, you can come to Norway and you can learn a lot in Norway about uh, the way that we and the organization that I work in and other organizations, uh, we are uh, taken into political work uh, on the uh, um, yeah, governmental uh, level and all the levels uh, in, uh, when, when we are getting new laws, when we are talking about how to uh, get houses. Uh, yeah. So we will be uh, and we will be teaching at schools. We will be traveling around the country to uh, advise uh, efforts, causing efforts, and, and we'll be uh, on the streets talking to the, the users, helping them to get uh, through the system. And so, um, so we will have Yola from. Um the organization in Russian called Nachleshka and in English it's a shelter uh, and it's one of the oldest non-profit organizations in Russia. About the conference, like my main, main motiv motivation to come here was uh, um, like to, to speak on the same language with the people uh, who are doing the same job in Europe because uh, it's a very um, dangerous ten tendency in Russia always to have some third way 
because we are kind of uh, in the middle between Asia and and, and Europe, mm -hmm. and we all this and also our authorities and officials all this talking about some kind of third way we should have in Russia. But I think it's a, uh, it's a crazy idea. So because there are some already useful practices, and uh, I think it's very important to be open to European um, experience and uh, uh, don't repeat maybe some mistakes. Just uh, learn the mistakes of others. And uh, for me, it's it's first of all really important to see people, to see their eyes, maybe to understand what they are doing and uh, like their opinions, and just to hear what they think, what they worry about. Uh, and in this sense, it's certainly important uh, to have such a big conference. But in sense, if we really want to hear opinions, if we really want to take some decisions about strategies and planning, uh, it's certainly difficult to do this with uh, such big groups of people. Like if you have 30 people in one working session, it's really difficult to hear opinions more than maybe five people. So if, if you really uh, want to use this uh, as an a uh, platform as a place for debates and discussion then to take some decisions maybe it, it's not the right form to do this but anyway it's a, it's a very very important to for people to meet and also it's a very big support for those who are doing this job to meet other people who are doing something like that and i think this like exchange of energy and efforts it's the one of the most important Sometimes uh, we speak on the about participation on different levels. Yeah. And while the situation is absolutely different in different countries. So, for example, there, are, there is the case of countries that the services are offered by local authorities and uh, the homeless should press the local authorities to offer better quality of services so the NGOs have a, a real reason to operate with the users uh, because they have to make an alliance and press in a more efficient way which could happen in the north and the Mediterranean countries the situation is completely different over there the, the level of participation of the homeless is mostly to give space uh, to speak about and express the needs and uh, uh, have a role in a campaign and uh, and uh, have a relationship between uh, volunteers and professionals and the homeless. So through this profession, so through this relationship, to get empowered and participate more actively. Um, as individuals, as live individuals. Sometimes we uh, plan for the homeless a, a, a second uh, <laughs> a level of participation for, uh, for the second things. <laughs> we know better, we are the best uh, professionals, we are the more skillful volunteers, we know better, we have the contacts with the political power and the mayor, so we know better. So I think, you know, we are victim of this uh, thing and uh, this uh, leads us, as I mean the NGOs, sometimes to, to lose a part of our power and a, lot of, a, lot, a part of our power because the NGOs are organization trying to express uh, the society. So the homeless and the possible uh, homeless and the future homeless are a part of the society.